As you've just heard, today River Sienkamp would have celebrated her 32nd birthday. The Eastern Cape model was killed in February 2013 by her boyfriend, Oscar Pistorius, who was convicted of culpable homicide last year. Well, on Friday, this coming Friday, Pistorius is expected to be released on correctional supervision after spending 10 months behind bars. While well, the Progressive Women's Movement of South Africa has said the parole is insensitive and outrageous and an effort to the, the aim of Women's Month and an affront, I should say, uh, to uh, the aim of a Women's Month. It's an insult, is another term that they've used. Well, to talk more on this issue, we're now joined in studio by Jackie Mufugeng from uh, the PWMSA and Pastor Lillian Rampele, who works with paroled and ex-offenders. A very good morning to you, ladies. Thank you so much for joining us. Morning. Morning. Let's start with you, Mama Mufugeng. You are asking that as a gesture of goodwill and perhaps a symbol of remorse, that Oscar keep himself in prison for a good nine days or so, so that at least he comes out in September when it's not Women's Month. Is that what you're calling for? That's what we are calling for. We are not against the correctional supervision. We know that is a privilege because one gets it with good behavior. But we also are mindful as Progressive Women's Movement, working with all the organizations, political and non-political, like uh, the uh, May Lillian, that we start understanding what is happening in prison. There are many other Oscars there, but because they are not celebrities, things are not happening this way. But this was an eye-opener that uh, really the insensitive part of River's birthday, after two days, a man goes out, having served only 10 months. Remember, we are still aggrieved with the judgment. Respecting the rule of law being something that we stand for. But we cannot allow it that in our Women's Month, where the gains of women of this country should be trampled on, and the insensitive part of the parole board not checking what is happening around them, I don't think it was correct for choosing the date of the 21st. For Oscar to do us a favor is just to say, I'll stay for nine days. If he's awarded it, he's authorized by the minister, He's got also something to do. But the minister has also a responsibility to tell the women of this country, with the cases of abuse of women and children, what is it that we are doing if we allow things like this to happen? You made an appeal to the minister. You've asked him to exhaust the law as much as possible to keep him behind bars. Do you have faith that something can be done at this last hour? It is the trying time for the Justice Department to show us what they can do because they can still negotiate. The minister has also has powers to can see the legal part of it. But we are saying also Oscar has a responsibility. But we are not ruling out that uh, the minister can actually do something for the women of this country. Mm. Pastor Lillian, uh, you heard Umam Cheki saying that uh, this is in the spotlight and, and, and the reason why perhaps he was released is because uh, he, he is someone who is well known to us, that there are many, quote, Oscars who rot in jail, perhaps, and, and should be out on parole for, for various reasons. Is, is that an accurate description, do you think? Yes, um, a lot of women, uh, I may say, are in a similar position as Oscar is because we have a lot of women who have uh, murdered their, their husbands and um, they are languishing in jail. Why couldn't they also be given uh, what I would consider a preferential uh, treatment like, 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 like Oscar did? Uh, we feel this is the time that Oscar himself uh, owes South African women you know, um, a responsibility to say, you know what, I'm going to man up. The same way that he, he, he said he was very sorry uh, about what happened to River. Mm -hmm. This is the time to show it and at least give her respect and give uh, particularly women the respect by taking back the nine days like um, uh, Jackie has already indicated that nine days really wouldn't harm Oscar to stay beside, behind bias as an indication of respect and of remorse to mm -hmm. South African women. You know, if I may play devil's advocate here for a second, some might say, well, he hasn't done anything illegal. It's well within his rights to be released. Perhaps he's ticked off all the boxes and he's marked everything off that he needs to do and his release is warranted and legal. So why can he not be let go? Are we, are we putting him at a disadvantage because he's such a high profile uh, figure? Is he going to have to pay for the fact that he's a, a world renowned Paralympian and, and should be made to suffer because of that? It's not about making him suffer, per se. It's about showing sensitivity 
towards women out there that, you know, this is the month that you are celebrating as women. And I am going to, you know, take my part, you know. Mm. I'm going to take my part and play my part as a South African man because part of the thing that he's going to do, he's going to be working with our children out there that are born by women. Mm. Now, how is he going to work with women when he hasn't shown respect for women, really? This is why we are saying it's also as much as it's up to the uh, uh, minister, it's also upon him. The responsibility is also upon him. He can go back to them and say, hey, I accept I acknowledge my uh, uh, correctional supervision, mm -hmm. but I'm going to take nine more days and stay around just to show my respect to the women. Do you think he's remorseful? This is the time that he must show. Yes. I, have been, I have been in court. I saw him crying. I saw him trying many times to even have a, you know, time to talk to some of us. But we were very cold because we couldn't understand what was happening. But if he is showing remorse, this is a time that he must, like we sacrifice for 67 days, 67 minutes of Mandela, mm. he must sacrifice nine days for women of this country. Mm. That's what we are asking for. He wants to work with women, with the children. These are children of women. And we are respecting him. We are respecting the River Stingham family and also saying that for women of South Africa, let us correct the wrongs that are there. There are so many mm. challenges that we must fight together. Hence, mm. Progressive Women's Movement mm. of South Africa. We came together as women, political and non-political, to mm. make sure that we work. Mm. And some of us are, you know, lucky that I had an opportunity to work with women like uh, May Lillian, the, the Dream Team Foundation, mm. that work with ex-offenders mm. that have been there. They know what is happening in that, inside there. Among your requests in the petition that you sent to the minister is something that you're calling here a report on the composition on race and gender of the case management committee that prepared the profiles for the parole board to recommend parole. What do you mean by that and why have you called for this particular request? To go for it. It's okay. I, I think, you know, what is happening is that we are worried, as mm -hmm. Melian was saying, that there are so many women that are there. There are children. If you don't have a family, that will take, back, take, take you back. You don't have anywhere to go. Mm -hmm. We want to check how the parole board works. Because at the moment, we know about it. But maybe we've been ignorant. We want to know the ins and out of it. It must be transparent. The stakeholders, we are stakeholders. Mm -hmm. People that are representing us, mm -hmm. now we are doubtful that they really understand what is happening around them. If they knew, they'll be able to tell us that uh, in this month, this is a month for... So for, for the, for youth, we can't do A, B, C, D. This is a month for this and that. Mm. This is what we should do. Mm. But it doesn't look like they're moving with us. And we will also request that next time, the progressive women's movement, like we send our women to be mm. representing us everywhere, we will send them to also represent us in the parole board, given an opportunity. We'll have to leave it there. Unfortunately, we have run out of time. Um, the, the progressive women's movement of South Africa saying that uh, that sentence that was given, that 10 months that he served behind bars, perhaps, I don't know, did he repay his debt to society, do you think, especially going forward with, um, with the new parole conditions? Do you think it's sufficient that he's served his debt to society? I don't really think it is fair. It mm. is fair because mm -hmm. uh, I come from an organization that deals with parolees and ex-offenders. And there are a lot of uh, inmates in there mm. who even their parole uh, uh, period passes mm. because they have nobody to even sign for them. And this is where we come in and sign for mm. them and take them in and, you know, teach them skills. Mm. So right. I don't think... We'll have to leave it there, at least for now. All this conversation that we're having uh, this morning, of course, uh, falling on Riva Steenkamp's uh, birth date. Today, she would have turned at 32. Let's leave you with that somber thought, at least for now. Quick ad break. Morning Life continues after this. Stay with us.